Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, my wife Sam and I are going to be watching The Thing. I believe it's from 1982 and directed by John Carpenter, who I know is responsible for kind of like the Halloween series and some other movies. Haven't really seen any of his work, so this will kind of be the first introduction to that. I know nothing about this movie. I think it's like maybe like some explorers or something come across a monster, maybe. I don't, I don't, you don't really know. I don't know anything about this, to be honest, from you telling me that we were going to be watching this. I was 100% thinking that we were going to be watching the movie It. Right. Um, with like the... The like, clown? <laughs> no. <laughs> what movie? Okay, what's the name of the movie that's like the, the like, it's like slime. The blob? Yes. Okay. That's what I thought. <laughs> I've never even seen that. <laughs> That's what I thought we were watching this no, whole time. So this whole time when you were saying it, you also... Yeah, were... no, I didn't even mean it. I meant the blob. That well, clearly fun. we know nothing about what we're going to watch, which is good. That's exactly what we want. Um, so we're super excited to kind of get into it. I just want to thank everyone for all the support. Uh, it's been really amazing to see everyone commenting and liking all the videos and stuff and giving suggestions. Um, if you want to interact with, uh, with me, on other platforms, you can check out the links in the description. I have, um, you know, Twitter, Twitch, Instagram. You can check it all out. Uh, most importantly, would be my Patreon, and this was actually picked by my patrons on Patreon as a movie to react to in October. So all of the suggestions that everyone's kind of giving in the comments, I take that over and I put that into Patreon polls where um, you can vote in those polls and kind of decide and dictate what myself or what we are going to watch going forward. Movies, TV shows, it'll all kind of be determined from the Patreon. Uh, so check that out if you want. I don't know if it's gonna be like a scary or if it's more like gore or if it's just like monster. Yeah, I don't know if it's like jumpy or like a thriller or... Yeah, no idea. <laughs> we'll, see. we'll find out real soon. So uh, with that, let's get into the movie. I already feel like this is gonna be like a music heavy. Like the like, music's gonna Just from this you. tone already, I'm like, oh. <laughs> just that gradual increase of the music scaring you. Yeah. Okay, so it's aliens. Whatever the thing is. I mean, when you have no idea what something is, you would say, like, that thing, right? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty easy title. What do we call it? I don't know, the thing. <laughs> So that ship must have crashed in Antarctica. Hopefully no dogs are hurt in this. Seriously. <laughs> Checkmate. Checkmate. Got him. Cute <laughs> <laughs> bitch. this dog has some kind of virus or <laughs> some... got into something, like... Who is he? Said Norge or something on the side. It's Norwegian. Oh, so they don't even know the helicopter. I thought the helicopter was with them. Yeah, that's sketchy. See you later, dog. Way off. <laughs> <laughs> what the f- No. Come down back in, you What the f- This went south so fast? There's definitely something wrong with this dog. I mean, the dog seemed fine when he was jumping and looking up on... Well, like, the dog has some sort of, like, like you said, like, a virus. Ooh. <gasps> oh. Oh. Well, they're not gonna know now. Yeah, see you later. George, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. Are you? Yeah. What's You're okay? He just got shot in the leg. <laughs> <laughs> Shooting at a dog. At us. Mm, stir crazy. Cabin fever, who knows? Get a hold of anybody. We gotta report this mess. Look, I haven't been able to reach shit in two weeks. Five minutes is enough to put a man over down here. Yeah, I'm straight. He been the way he is since the first day. <laughs> How many in their party? Mac, it may not clear up for a week. Yeah. And we're the closest ones to him. It's all right by me, Doc. I'm just letting you know we're, we're taking a chance. Well, at least they got their own right helicopter. You really want to save those crazy Swedes, huh? Norwegians. <laughs> so he's the pilot and he's the doctor. Right. Two of your most crucial <laughs> members. Hmm. You little suspicious dog. What you doing? Hey, 
Hey, Sweden! Not Swedish, Mac, then I'll reach <laughs> Yeah, if he's sitting in a chair like that. Might have killed himself? Yeah. Yeah, a knife. Oh, oh my god. My god. What the hell happened here? Come on, Doc. Maybe he was like possessed or something to do it? Yeah. I'll check out the last few rooms. Let's split up. We can cover more yeah, ground. This makes me really <laughs> nervous. Topper, come here. Maybe they found a fossil. The remains of some animal buried in the ice. Those are burned. What is that? Is that a man in there? Very suspicious dog, though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow, they brought oh, it with them? That seems like a very bad idea. Yeah. Blair, I'd like you to start an autopsy right away. It's not a human. No. Or, or it, it was. It was a human, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, what we got here is what appears to be, anyway, a normal set of internal organs. At least they got an abundance of some weed. <laughs> Get them through the reruns. Right, <laughs> yeah. Just bite him? I don't know. Oh, he's gonna put him with the other dogs, though. They're gonna, like, it's gonna, like, kill all the other dogs or something. Go ahead. Go ahead. What are you waiting for? <laughs> That's not going to end well whatsoever. No. And I'm guessing for all of the other dogs. Yeah. Oh my. What the fuck? Oh my god, help them! Oh. Why, why would you open that without being able to see what's inside? <laughs> Panic, oh. like 911 starts screaming. Weird and pissed off, whatever it is. Stay back. Stay back. What is it? Turn the damn light on. <laughs> yeah, it's about time for the flamethrower. Oh my god. Giant is this thing about to get? Damn it, child, torch it! Bring it out already. That uh, seems a little premature. <laughs> well, you were right. Whatever it is, it's like gra it was grabbing the other dogs and like merging into like. And it could transform whatever it was. Yeah. Because it was just roaming around as a dog. Another autopsy. You see, what we're talking about here is an organism that imitates other life forms, and it imitates them perfectly. We got to it before it had time to finish. Finish imitating these dogs. What that crazy creature design, though. Crazy. Yeah. Crazy. How long were you alone with that dog? An hour and a half, maybe. What the hell are you looking at me like that for? They're all going to get suspicious that like, each other's are... Yeah. Monsters. It looks like something buried under the ice. Whatever it was, it was bigger than that block of ice you found. 
I must have found the spaceship. Here. This is it, the place where they're spending most of their time. Pretty nasty out, Mac. 35 knots. Screw it, I'm gonna go up anyway. Half a mile, do we? That is much bigger than I thought <laughs> it was gonna be. Thousands of years ago, it crashes, and this thing gets thrown out or crawls out, and it ends up freezing in the ice. I just cannot believe any of this voodoo bullshit. That's, that guy was from uh, Community, blanking on his name right now. Elroy? Yeah, but I don't know his real... I don't know what his real name is. He's in Requiem for a Dream, I know that. No, no, what you disrespectful man been tossing his dirty drawers in the kitchen trash can? Huh? <laughs> but now I want my kitchen clean, all right? Oh. Germ free. I thought he was playing like an old classic video game. Whoa. That's pretty high. This guy's like, yep. yeah. He's like, <laughs> I'm not taking that chance. Whoever was wearing this, I feel like they transformed a little bit or something like that, got bloody and then went back to human and then threw out their shit. Could be. Alright. So it doesn't really stay dead. <laughs> yeah. There's something wrong with Blair. He's locked himself in his room and he won't answer the door. It could have imitated a million life forms on a million planets. It needs to be alone and in close proximity with the life form to be absorbed. The chameleon strikes in the dark. It's way worse than just a monster. Because now you just have to be suspicious of everyone. Yeah. Oh, I mean, Benny's gone. <laughs> Can they pull that fire alarm again? Benny's was right there, Mac. I swear to God, it had a hold of him. Oh. Is that Benny running away? I think so. So he's in there now. Or it's in there. The thing. <laughs> the thing is somewhere. <laughs> Oh my god. If it had more time to finish, it would have looked and sounded and acted just like Benny's. I don't know what you're saying. There was one of those things out there trying to imitate him, Gary. You sure that's all of them? We cleaned out the storehouse, the lab, there is nothing left. Where's Blair? Yeah, Blair's still locked away. I can't find Blair. Where's everybody else? Windows is in the radio room, still trying to get through. Everyone else is in the rec room. Okay, so Windows is dead. <laughs> if he's the only one by himself right now and Blair is missing. Blair? Oh, Blair just fucked the helicopter. Blair? And someone just shot at Blair, or Blair shot at someone. <laughs> Bloody interferes, I'll kill him! Just leave it here! That thing wanted to be on! Come on, man, you don't want to hurt anybody. I'll kill you! Oh, gun's gone. <laughs> Dang, Blair's got some strength to him. I said, watch Clark and watch him close. Do you hear me? Probably safest in here, to be honest. I know, right? I'd be like, cool, thank you. Keep me locked away. If I was an imitation, a perfect imitation, how would you know if it was really me? You're right, kill him. <laughs> Is there some kind of test, Doc? Well, yeah, possibly. I've been thinking about a blood serum test. Gary! Hey, you guys, come here! That's not good. Somebody opened it, closed it, and then locked it. Great. Well, who's got access to it? I guess I'm the only one. <laughs> and I got the only key. Who else could have used that key? Nobody. I just give it to Copper whenever he needs it. Could anybody have gotten it from you, Doc? 
I don't see how. As soon as I'm finished, I return it right away. I suppose somebody could have lifted it off me. Oh, but that's come all. on. Get Why would he come here and take his windows? Windows! Was it windows? No, I think he's freaking out. You guys gonna listen to Gary? You gonna let him give the orders? I mean, he can be one of those things. Windows. I don't know about copper. But I give you my word, I did not go near that blood. I'm sorry, fellas, but I, I, I'm not up to it. <laughs> I'll take it. Like hell you will. <laughs> Let me get a knife. Be somebody a little more even-tempered, child. I would be losing my shit trying to figure out who was evil and not. There's a storm hitting us in six hours. We're going to find out who's who. I think it rips through your clothes when it takes you over. Windows found some shredded long johns, but the name tag was missing. They could be anybody's. Nobody trusts anybody now. If a small particle of this thing is enough to take over an entire organism, then everyone should prepare their own meals. And I suggest we only eat out of cans. Social distance, wear masks. <laughs> Who's that? Jesus. <laughs> Greedy. I don't want to stay out here anymore. I want to come back inside. Jeez. Is it Fuchs? Yeah. Maybe he burned himself before it could get to him. Huh. Yeah, did he set himself on fire? Yeah. I mean, literally, I feel like there's no clues of who it could be no. right now. Hey! All of you, come here! The fuck? I cut him loose. McCready? He's one of them. When do you Damn, think you got to really? it? Damn, really? The players against each other! Oh. Uh-oh. Let's open it. Hell no. <laughs> you think he's changed? Uh -oh. Supply window! Anyone messes with me and the whole camp goes. Where's the rest? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Not breathing! He was struggling before. Yeah. Now nobody gets out of my sight. Ever occur to the jury that anybody could have got some of my clothes and stuck them up the furnace? Anyone tries to wake me. Uh -uh. Here! I still don't trust the dog guy. He's the one. Oh my. What the fuck? Oof. Uh-oh. Do they see it? Yeah, what are they? Someone stopped this thing from getting away. Oh my god, like a spider head. They have to notice this thing. Yeah, does nobody hear that? Oh my god. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Oh, there. Okay. <laughs> you gotta be fucking kidding. Let's, let's do what Max says. Is he still at that? I yeah, mean, the uh, scalp. Yeah. You wasted. <gasps> Creepy Crawley's gonna come out. <laughs> Was he human? <laughs> We're gonna find out who's the thing. No blood from one of you things won't obey when it's attacked. It'll try and survive. Why, why are you making such a big cut? Now well, I'll show you what I already know. And Clark was human, huh? Which makes you a murderer, don't it? Oh my god, who'd they just test? 
Oh no. Oh, they're all tied up next to him. Oh my god. Windows. Windows is gone. This motherfucker with the flamethrower, it's not working, dude. Figure something else out. Finally. <laughs> it's one taken care of, but Windows is still in there and everyone else is literally still tied up. That was so stressful. For them to be tied up. Can you please untie me? I would untie him right away. Oh, thank you. Okay, God. <laughs> I feel like even they're like unsure. Yeah. I'd rather not spend the rest of this winter tied to this fucking couch! <laughs> we're going out to give Blair the test. If he tries to make it back here and we're not with him, I'm burning. It's like, uh, you don't need to tell me, I'm burning everyone. <laughs> is that open? Oh, it is. He's gone. It's another ship? Whoa. So now you just have so Childs. So Childs is in here by himself. Yeah. Or potentially with Blair. <laughs> yeah. This is Childs? Hey, you guys, come here. We got back inside and blew the generator. Six hours, it'll be 100 below in here. Well, that's suicide. Not for that thing. Just wants to go to sleep in the cold until the rescue team finds it. Maybe we'll just warm things up a little around here. Burn it all down. That's what the other camp did, right? It's true, yeah, it was all on fire and everything. These explosions are crazy. Generator room. We gotta bring this whole place right down into the ice. Gary, plant yours in the old storage room. Oh. All right, see you later, old man. Oh, what the? Oof. He's like merged. walking into it. <sighs> How's it coming in there? You're all alone, Kurt Russell. Just fucking do it. Why? <laughs> Why did they all just go in there? One at a time. Probably no. Childs is yeah. somewhere. I mean, they blew up everything. Yeah. But the thing can survive in freezing cold temperatures and ice, so it's like, okay, I guess he did make it out. <laughs> he can't do anything now. He's just kind of freeze to death. Oh, there's Childs. You the only one who made it? Where were you, Childs? Fire's got the temperature up all over the camp. Won't last long, though. Neither will we. What do we do? Just set each other on Why fire. Just...
Was that it? Yeah, what an interesting ending. Dang. I need to see the um, child's. I'm going to be so pissed when I see the, the actor's name. Because I should have known it all along. Keith David, god dang it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, uh, that was the thing. What'd you think? It was good. It was like very much a thriller. Um, there was definitely a good amount of gore. Uh huh. A lot of suspense. Yeah, I feel like, I mean, there was gore and there was like some monsters and creatures and stuff, but I feel like all of the su suspense came from not knowing who to trust. Yeah. Like that it could be literally anyone. Like, I mean, for how much of the movie I thought Kurt Russell's character, Mac, could have been bad the entire time or something like when they found him shredded up or something i mean he still very well could have been bad yeah i mean at the end you really don't know it's i mean two of them. they tested his blood and stuff but who knows i mean to talk first i guess about the ending it's open to like interpretation because yeah. childs could be infected and mac could have been infected. like mac survived that crazy explosion he could have been infected maybe helped him survive the explosion or something but yeah. childs could have had been infected after he went chasing after Blair and just stayed away or something like that. The fact that they didn't do anything, like the creature can't survive by being frozen. Mm -hmm. Or the cells, you know, the fact that it's literally just one cell yeah. is essentially the creature. Right. I was, I honestly thought they were just gonna like douse themselves in gasoline. And just and end just, it, yeah. Yeah, because they're just gonna sit there and freeze to death. Obviously with a horror movie, I was always kind of expecting not a fairy tale ending. Yeah took care of the problem or civilizations kind of come and at some point rescue them and then get in infected. the spring yeah. yeah the whole movie like you said it was very suspenseful yeah were there any like scenes or anything that you like really liked or um i feel like the attention to detail that went into like the thing once it started to take over and to like morph into something else like uh -huh. that was just so crazy like the like the creature design and stuff like yeah. that and like the animatronics or whatever yeah just to kind of see all the parts like you're seeing the dogs the whole time and then you're starting to see faces and you're really recognizing those faces right yeah so i feel like that was kind of crazy to see that kind of all come together yeah i know it was really really cool like monster design and stuff like that yeah. especially kind of like mutating humans and animals some of the highlight parts for me were <laughs> the defibrillator or whatever when he puts it through the chest and it bites off dude's arms and that was then, so gross yeah that, that like that shocked me like yeah, that, i was totally surprised. yeah that got me for sure yeah. and then um when they were testing the blood and they found out the dude who was tied up on the end and the fact that they were all still tied up to the monster. Like that, so stressful. That was way too stressful. Like that was so easy for the monster, like to still just. It could have just yeah, turned just and take them all over. Yeah, I mean, it still killed one of them, but yeah, that was a horrible situation to yeah. tie them all together. Together, so close to well, each other. I don't know. Them. I mean, it's a classic horror movie where it's just like, okay, you, let's split up. So you yeah. can't you can't knock a movie for doing that. But I do like how they did kind of try to split some people up to make it so that you never really knew who to trust the entire time. Mm -hmm. It was a very interesting way to kind of split people up so that you, you don't know what everyone was doing. You don't know who they're interacting with. Right. I mean, yeah, there was a few clues here and there, but for the majority, all the way up to, to the end, I had no idea yeah. who to trust. Yeah, no, you really didn't know. They left it completely a mystery. Uh, yeah, 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 a complete mystery and, and it made it that much more kind of stressful and suspenseful and stuff. So I thought it was great. I mean, being so suspicious of the dog in the beginning, it's cause it was trying to like study and try to find a time when it could get someone alone yeah. and stuff. And so I want to thank my patrons uh, and my Patreon who they voted this as one of the top movies for Halloween to react to. And it was a great movie. I loved it. Um, I really haven't done anything with John Carpenter. I don't think you've seen anything with John Carpenter, so I know he has another couple of movies that may work perfectly for October Halloween type of thing. So I just want to thank everyone for their support. If there's any other types of horror movies or something to react to, I, I think I probably have about one or two movies left to kind of determine. Like I've, I said in my Young Frankenstein, this was one of them. Another movie where we're going to react to is going to be Train to Busan. Other than that, I really don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to kind of keep the Holly, the Hollywood, the horror theme going through October at least. 
Um, so give me any suggestions. I'll take all those suggestions, kind of leave it up to my patrons to uh, filter through and decide and uh, go from there. So thank you everyone for hanging out and watching the thing with us. And until next time, peace everyone. Bye. Bye.